hello again welcome back to ludifrex in this video i'm going to show you how to create a responsive bootstrap login page it is really simple to make it is only a few codes that you're going to write in order to make it just stay with me i'm going to show you step by step how to create this responsive bootstrap login form As you can see, it is really responsive in every device, so it is a really good design. Okay, let's get started. Um, this is the setup. Okay, here I have my offline bootstrap. That is what I'm going to use, but you can also get the online one. I'll show you. you can get the link in the description. Okay, after connecting our bootstrap, let's also connect with our external style sheet. So I'm going to use the Poppins font. It is a really good font, so that's what I'm going to use. The background to be like that. Okay, let's get started with the bootstrap first division must be container in order to have some space on the right and the left so these are our divisions the login container it will be in the low and the left container it is the one that will be holding the image and the light container or the light box to be the holding the input forms so this is all our setup here okay so let's get started uh, this is the division for the image or featured image to be here in the left box If you want this image, you can download it from the description. Get the link in the description. So here, our first class is image fluid. This will help our image to be responsive in Bootstrap. So let's reduce our width and make it uh, 250 pixels. and this is our text which will be appearing on the left box you can write whatever you want so this is for the tutorial purpose So uh, here I'm going to use the left box and the right box for being used uh, in our external CSS. So in order to make our custom designs. Okay, in our container, let's make it display flex, justify content center, align item also center and mini height 100 viewport height that is how it is written in bootstrap so let's also make uh, our log which will be our login container to be bordered and rounded with the white background and that is how to add the shadows with bootstrap so our custom CSS for the box area in order to make the custom width that is what we'll be using okay yeah, here I wrote justify content really bad okay now it is 
it is good like that okay let's get down to our left box okay that is how we write rounded four which makes it also rounded and this prefix justify content center run items center then fix direction to be column and also a custom CSS let's write left box okay that is how it is then margin bottom here on our feature demand to be free and then we're going to change our text to be text right or text color right and then font size to then our font family to be career new career monospace then font weight and set it to 600 then our text also here on the small to be right then text warp in order to make it look better and then to also be centered So now let's go to our light box uh, where our, all our input forms will be. Let's also create another low. It will be aligned in the center. So this is where will be our header text. If you say hello again. So whereas in all our text box will be in the input group and then form control then form control raj the background will be right and font size six and press order email address because it is for the email. Okay, for a password, have just to copy it and change it only on the here on the press holder. Let's change it also to password. The margin, margin bottom for this to be our login I mean now we have all our checkbox uh, this is it then cross form check input then ID form check
here our cross will be form check global then text secondary in order to change the color and then for our forgot password link and this is it so let's change our input group to justify content space between okay now it looks better So this is for our login button, the input group and margin bottom set to free and yeah the cross is button, button large then button primary in order to get this color then width it to be set to 100% and the font size 6. So let's copy it and create another button for signing in with Google. Then margin left, I mean right. Uh, let's make it like that. Now it looks good. So let's create another link for um, sign up for creating a new account. So this is it. Now it looks better, but it is not that good. We are going to need to add some additional CSS. So the light box and padding. Let's change it to. 40 pixels, 30 pixels, then 40 pixels, 40 pixels. Then the press holder, 16 pixels as the font size. So now it looks uh, good for other devices, but for the small devices, uh, it is not good. We're just going to need to change some few things. So this is how I'm going to do it. So for the box area we are going to increase the margin from the left and the right in order to have some space and for the left box uh, we don't need to, to display that text so that is how we are going to do it and the right box we are going to reduce the padding to 20 pixels. Okay, now it is good um, but that hello again it is not good okay like that it is better so this is it for this tutorial uh, this is how you can create the responsive bootstrap login form in a simple way like and share thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe.